Hi, my name is Benjamin Petoni, and I want to share part of my experience as a test subject, an involuntary test subject of sorts, as some form of uh, remote neural monitoring technology. I'm not very good at speaking. I'm better at writing, so this video uh, may come out a little bit crazy. They're kind of fucking with my thought processes as I currently speak. Um, I'm from Daytona Beach, Florida. I was sent to prison for five years, of all things, for trafficking methamphetamines and manufacturing methamphetamines. That was in 2013. I was released April 17th, 2017. I changed my ways, learned my lesson, uh, I got out smoking marijuana, uh, but that was it, working, trying to find my place in life, trying to find opportunity, well, had a rough start, and to be honest, I went through a phase where I thought I was I was losing my mind. I thought I was going crazy. My family had convinced me that um, through methamphetamine abuse and taking Adderall that I had permanently fried my brain and that I'm a paranoid schizophrenic and that everything I've been experiencing is all delusions. Well, I can say this as someone who has used methamphetamines in the past, I definitely know what paranoid delusions are. There's a very big difference in paranoid delusions and reality. And there have been people communicating with me via uh, some voice to skull technology. Um, let me back up. While I was in Florida, uh, there started lots of vehicles and communications. Um, they were communicating. To be honest, I thought they were in the attic or outside my window. Ran up in the attic multiple times. Nobody was up there. I actually called the police department. And they told me that it was probably squirrels in the attic. Um... There was people driving around, driving around, following me every, everywhere I went. I can identify every single vehicle still following me all over the place. Wouldn't even make contact or acknowledging me just driving around, driving around, following me around. Uh, they convinced me <laughs> that I was going to get paid a very large sum of money. If I was to tell the police officers that I was hearing voices, which I was and am still being communicated with. So they convinced me to go tell the people that I was hearing voices, which I did. And... Upon release, I received nothing but laughter. I was released in Florida, in St. Cloud, Florida. I immediately boarded a flight to Spokane, Washington. Uh, during flight 33,000 feet in the air, communications became staticky above Kansas. I could turn my ear like this up towards the ceiling of the plane and all com my ear would sort of pop, and all the communications would cease. When I would level my head, my ear would sort of pop, and all the communications would immediately flood back. Um, currently, I'm two miles from the Canadian border. The communications still continue. It's now obvious <laughs> that there's nobody in the attic, there's nobody outside my window, the people are actually inside my head. And I'm not a paranoid schizophrenic. I'm not on drugs. I do smoke pot. Uh, 
but I've been given, I've been led uh, along my way, and I've been given all sorts of information. Uh, the other night, they wouldn't let me, actually, they woke me up with the phrase haptic technologies, which it's my understanding uh, it allows somebody else to experience what me or a targeted individual is experiencing everything from uh, the altered brain waves of smoking marijuana. It allows them to experience the same thing. Um, I believe it allows them to record brain waves altered by medications and then uh, basically mimic those brain waves in themselves or anybody else that they choose to target. I used to experience debilitating social anxiety and upon landing in Spokane I was awaiting my ride and while I was sitting down in the airport they literally I mean it felt as if a dial was being turned down and they said your social anxiety is leaving your social anxiety is leaving the whole time they're laughing it's non-stop laughter but it literally felt as if a weight on my chest was being dialed down and then just left and since I've been here I haven't experienced any anxiety whatsoever no social anxiety no anxiety I mean it's crazy they have the ability to shut the pharmaceutical industry down there's no doubt in my mind as to the capabilities of this technology even though I'm an involuntary test subject research subject I know everything has a reason I know I know I meant to be where I'm at for the time I don't know why I've been chosen to uh, be communicated with they communicated a company by the name of microwave vision which happens to be in France um, supposedly they they advertise targeted audience broadcasting services and equipment um, I've emailed the people it just seems like all they want me to do is re research they tell me stuff to evoke potentials or get a reaction that's that's always what they do they've gave me They've gave me names of people. They've told me stuff they've done. Um, uh, they claim to be Scientology. They claim to be everybody. Uh, from Scientologists. To. Police departments. To Sheriff's Office. Orma Beach to Police Department. Volusia County Sheriff's Office. Uh. Florida Department of Law Enforcement, FBI, NSA, they've claimed to be everybody. Uh, they've claimed to be certain individuals, but I, at this time I'm not going to say the names. They've mentioned preschool friends that I haven't seen since preschool. And they've made claims that they are going through the same thing. When I attempt to find these friends on Facebook, I'm unable to find them. Uh, they used to pop up on mutual friends Facebooks and I used to see them but now they're not there anymore so I don't know exactly what sometimes I get the very distinct feeling that this has something to do with the upcoming election um, I don't know what else to say I feel that if I feel that Trump has been, they've, they, the infamous they, have been attempting to crucify Trump since he come into office, since before he even come into office. And I feel that uh, with this technology and this intentional harassment, uh, which even though it's personalized, they claim it's not personal, I have a feeling that it has to do with... Um, some sort of political agenda and I have a feeling that 2020 this year 
come, ugh, shit's gonna hit the fan. I already know, so all I can say is, if, you, if you're a believer in God, pray to God, keep your faith. And I mean, it's like it's like the Bible says, all things done in the dark will be brought to light. Everything in the Bible's come to pass. And with this technology, which I'm still uh, having trouble grasping and fathoming just the insane capabilities that this stuff can do. I mean, it's it's too powerful for any individual or any group of individuals to, to be able to possess such the technology with these capabilities. I mean, they've proven time and time again they have the capacity and the ability to make my life miserable by by any and all means. They've made claims and then uh, immediately proven them that they can make my dick get hard with the push of a button uh, or they can make my life miserable and they can make it go boo. I mean, it's like a, it's a constant battle. They, uh, I don't even want to get into it, but yeah, it's definitely a battle. It's been a war, uh, or they'll, or they'll push that button in the wrong place. Uh, they're, they're assholes in the, and they laugh the whole time. They laugh about everything the whole time. Um, like I said, I come from Daytona beach. Y'all probably know me. I have a hell of a history. I believe part part of my choosing has been due to my <laughs> due to my history and my past. I wouldn't be very hard to discredit in court uh, or anywhere. Methamphetamines. Da da da. He's got a past. Look, he, I'm stereotypical white guy. Been to prison for methamphetamines, all that. But I learned my lesson. But. Uh, it is what it is, so I don't know. I've been led this way. Hopefully my video can be of assistance and help to others in my in my same situation. I don't know why we've all been chosen, but we've been chosen for a reason. Uh, have faith and just pray to God that it all comes to an end. Uh, with that, if there's anybody that can give me some guidance or direction or answers or a means to an end or a lawsuit or an attorney that's dealt with this type of thing before successfully please email me uh, at Patoni Benjamin which is p-a-t-o-n-a-i-b-e-n-j-a-m-i-n at gmail.com and feel free to communicate I'll be posting these videos with information and communications received uh, indefinitely. That's it.